Hi guys. Um, I'm here with the Boxy Charm and Glossy Box um, unboxing. <coughs> I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. Christmas is right around the corner. And I know in December I'm going to be getting the big Boxy Charm. So I'm excited for that. But for now, let's just check out and see what's on in the regular size uh, Boxy Charm. So as usual, they have the little um, card here that gives you all the information and the cost of each product. Okay, first thing in here is Lashaholic Luxury Lashes. So these look really pretty. I don't wear false lashes, but they do look really pretty and kind of wispy and natural looking. I mean, who knows? Maybe I'll actually use them for, you know, maybe a holiday party or something like that. Um, I don't even have lash glue. So I would have to get that and try to put them on. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'll just give them to somebody else. I don't know. Anyway, so that's that. Lashaholic. Um, these go for $15. It's $14.99, so $15. Next is a set of Luxie brushes. This one's really pretty. This is more like um, festive because they're gold. Ooh, these are really pretty and they have a nice little weight to them. And these are like perfect brushes that I, oh my gosh I would really love to use these brushes I don't think I have anything like um, the two smaller brushed ones um, it says the smallest round one is called the mini round the next one is called mini flat angled and then there's mini angled and mini tapered so these are all mini brushes of you know larger versions i guess of their brushes these are really pretty the handles are i love them they're sparkly i really like them so really really pretty so these brushes are 21 dollars for the set really nice set of um, brushes next in here we have a mascara from jante blue glittering star eyeliner it's a long lasting intense black color um so i guess black with glitter so that black has a ton of glitter in it um it's not it may be long lasting but i can tell you it's not um smudge proof like i can touch it it's been on for a little bit because it's not budge proof um so you might have you know a little smearing going on or something like that but there you go it is what it is but it's nice and glittery would I use it if it smudges? Probably not because my eyeliner, if it smudges, it's gonna be all over the place and I'm just not one to really like that. I mean, I could try to set it with powder, but it's got glitter in it, so what's the point in that? And the eyeliner is five bucks. So five bucks, that's not that big of a deal. Next in here is from Cover Effects. This is the Glitter Drops. Um, it's 15 mLs, and I believe this is supposed to be like for your body, like a body shimmer. Um, this is really, really pretty. It's $44. It's quite expensive, but I mean, I imagine that this is going to last you like a lifetime. Um, it says here, ultra concentrated drops of multi-dimensional glitter create a high impact reflective finish that wows. Multi-use glitter can be used alone or under or over makeup or mixed into your foundation or moisturizer for an incredibly luxe glitter effect on your face and body. So that's pretty cool. It's not transfer proof because um, it's been sitting on here for like a minute or so. It's dry, it's, but it's still, it leaves like a little tack. So I imagine whatever you're gonna be touching later, like if I touch here and I touch over here, I can see like the flakes of glitter just going all over the place. So um, you have to be committed to this, this super fine glitter and have it all over you. It's gonna be all over you probably for a couple of days, I imagine, so. Uh, last thing in here is a an eye palette. It's Ace Beauty or Beauté or however you want to say it. Grandiose palette. This palette is very very pretty. Um, it's definitely something that I would use. I love all the colors in here. I think I love every single one of these colors. Um, even even the bold pink I like. So that's rare that I see a palette that I'm always in awe of palettes, but this is the first one that I'm like, oh, hey, I think I can use every single one of these shades for one reason or another. So, and the shades do look quite pretty. 
Um, I really love the tones of each and every one of them. The neutral one, which is the break right here in the middle, it would be fantastic, you know, to put all over the lids initially. So that's nice. I'm trying to think, I guess you can kind of use it almost as a transition also to kind of blend out if you use the darker color and just blend it out with the lighter color. I think it'll be really, really nice. So this first one here is Jasmine, Clove, Myrtle, Cinnamon, uh, Patchouli, Rose, Poppy, and Primrose. Nice. So this is a fantastic box from BoxyCharm. So the total value of the box, approximately $110, give or take a buck or two. So really nice box from BoxyCharm. Let's see. Again, we have the palette, the glitter drops, the lashes and the brushes and the liner. I really love the brushes, they're just so pretty and I know I will get use out of these types of brushes that they are, and the palette. So the glitter drops, I'm debating, hmm, to use it or not to use it, I'm not sure. So, but I mean, just the brushes and the palette, I'm satisfied with that in itself. Next we have Glossy Box and a nice little box this month. Um, oh, and the inside is like a rose gold. I don't know if you can actually see that or not, but you can see the reflectiveness. It's really pretty. Okay, so inside it's got a nice burgundy bow that was here. The paper is a nice cream color. And here's the inside of the box. HCR 3-in-1 sheet mask from Serum, I guess. Okay, there's two of them. And then here's a couple other things, little peek. These are like super heavy masks. What kind of mask is this? This feels like a body mask, I swear, because it's so big and so heavy. Remove film, carefully unfold mask, and apply over clean, dry skin. Leave 15 to 30 minutes, remove and discard. And then massage the serum in. Revitalize, refresh, restore. Um, it has retinol to transform dull, um, devitalize skin, vitamin C to brighten, and boost luminosity, hyaluronic acid, to plump and hydrate, um, and it has a rapid absorption technology. So that's cool. I mean, I like to use the serum, whatever's left inside these masks, and just use them for, use them up for the next couple days. Right. Next in here, what is this? Reparative Cuticle Oil by Lauren B. Beauty. This is a cute little cuticle oil thing. Um, I haven't seen it in a little container like this. This is pretty cool, actually. Okay, so I'm just in a little like container like this and you can see how the oil just kind of drops down right out of the little um, container. This is very smart. I really like this bottle instead of those little glass bottles. This is really nice. I like the way that it dispenses out of here. The oil is a nice and light oil. It just smells typical. It's not like lavender. What is the scent of this? This doesn't really have like a scent on the packaging. Anyway, I really think that this is like a little genius little container. I like this one a lot. This is perfect to put in my bag because those little glass bottles give me the creeps. I might break it inside of my purse and ruin my purse. So this is really, really nice. I like this. Very nice. How much is this? It's $22. It says that it um, has 14 plant and flower oils. Yeah, so I really like that. That's so smart, so smart. Somebody else should have done that earlier. Okay, next in here is Kenra Dry Oil Control Spray Ma Medium Hold Nourishing Spray. Spray. I can't speak. Oh. Okay, New Tames Frizzes. Okay, I need to read on this. So I guess we would have gotten either one. There was either going to be the dry oil con control spray or a shaping spray. Wow, I wish I would have gotten the shaping spray. That would have been nice. Let me read this from the beginning. It says, tame frizz and flyaways and give your hair a 24 hour defense against humidity with Kenner's dry oil control spray. Breakthrough technology combines the power of medium holds hairspray with the touchability you need for the perfect look every time. Nice. 
So a full size is $19. This is only 1.2 ounce. It says that the featured size is 1.5 ounce, but it's not, it's 1.2. It says it right on the package. Okay. And the other one you could have gotten was the Shaping Spray 21. It holds hair in place, but allows you to sculpt your look. Alcohol-free hairspray retains moisture at your scalp while giving your hair great shine. Okay, so I guess I'm kind of glad about this. Let me see. I'm going to try to use it. I'm going to ruin it. I kind of, a lot of times, like, um, the hair oils, sometimes they leave a little too much weight, but it's supposed to be like a hair spray. It smells almost like it has like some coconut oil or coconut scent in there. So not bad. I like the scent of it. So we'll see what happens. It doesn't, it doesn't feel overly oily. So that's nice because sometimes they can be really, really oily and I don't like that. So that's nice. Um, next we have from Steve Laurent. This is, it's an eggplant. I'm assuming it's a lipstick. An eggplant sounds like it's going to be really, really dark, <sighs> which it is. Um, I'll wear this probably in a holiday party, and that's the only time of the year that I'll wear like a dark lip because I'm just a neutral lip kind of girl. Because of the way that it's swatched, I actually want to try it on my lips because I think it's not going to be dark. I have a, another lip color on, but... It's just like um, a hint of the eggplant color. So it's not too bold. It's a nice natural hint. I like that actually. Surprised. I'm really surprised. I thought it was going to be like a really bold, bold color. And I don't, oh, wait a second. It's getting darker as it sits. What? Okay, now I have to read number one. It says, Steve Laurent's lip gloss is made with a luxury, lightweight formula that moisturizes and softens lips without irritating, clumping, and sticking. Um, never tested on animals, high shine eggplants, deep burgundy color, equal parts elegance, and sensual for your lips. It looks, is it, is it me? I swear it got darker as I applied it. Let me, I'm gonna try this again. Hold on a second. It's just me. I'm a little bit crazy. It stayed the same color. It didn't change colors. So I'm going to take this off because it is a lip gloss and I don't need it to be all over everything. But you can see there's a slight stain. So that's nice too. I like when, because if it wears down, you'll still have like a stain of the lip color. I have glitter everywhere. <sighs> it's everywhere, everywhere. Okay. Um, lastly in here, this is from Georgia. By Robin McGraw, it's a moisturizing hand cream. So, who can't get enough of a hand cream? I have people at my job that literally, when they pass by, I always keep like a cream on my desk, and um, they'll just come by and it'll just, like take a pump or squeeze or whatever and just apply it all over. So, it's really nice packaging. Look at that, it's so pretty. Maybe I can get some of this glitter off. Oh, I don't like this scent. I'm going to regret putting this all over my hands and everything, but it's like an elegant scent. At the same time, it's not something that I, I like. What is that? What is, let me read. I have to read. Okay. Georgia Moisturizing Hand Cream by Robin McGraw. It's $20. Um, a line is by right essence of Robin McGraw's mother. Georgia Nourishing Mango Butter and Antioxidant Rich Milk. Hydrates, repairs, and protects the skin. This lightweight formula absorbs quickly, leaving skin feeling smooth but never slippery. So it's perfect for the woman on the go. Um, I, I agree. Like, it's already gone. Like, I don't feel it on my hands anymore. The scent still lingers. It kind of smells almost like a smoky, woodsy scent, which I don't really care for. I mean, if you like that, smoky, woodsy, kind of earthy and leathery. So anyway, that's everything that came in this box. 
So we have the lip, the masks, um, the cuticle oil, the hairspray, and the hand lotion. This is just okay. I mean, I like the lippy and the spray and the cuticle oil. Um, and the masks are just okay. They seem kind of big and overweight, but um, these three are nice. So that's it, you guys. Thank you so very much for joining me and watching and checking out the video. And I will see you again in another video.